This is an image generated by artificial intelligence, and deal one, and deal one, and all of this. In this video, we will be covering why artificial intelligence are not going to be replacing creative jobs anytime soon, and I'm going to show you with three different examples. So example number one, Cosmopolitan, the fashion magazine, team up with Karin Cheng, who is a creative director, so they could design together this new cover for the magazine that was called They Wanted to Design with Dali 2, which is the artificial intelligence that generated all these images that you might have been seeing on the internet recently. And they thought that doing this would be something very quick and easy, you know, you generate the text prompt and then you click run and then that with your intelligence, just create the perfect image. But it's not like that, because they realize after hundreds of failed attempts that in order to have the perfect image, you actually need to provide the perfect text. And this is exactly the same as in real life. When a client asks you to design something, if they don't provide the proper briefing, it's not very likely that you are going to be able to design what they have in mind. So this is exactly the same that happened to Dali. And I think this is a pretty good example because in the end, it took them months of work and it involved many people, like human people, you know, in order to produce that. So the artificial intelligence will be able to generate this amazing cover. Of course, if a person would just draw it, maybe they would have been faster, but the beauty of it was that this Dali would actually do it. And I think it's very empowering, not only because of the posture and, you know, the women in, in Mile and, and the whole direction of this, but also that the fashion magazine that is mainly targeted to women actually produce this. Because we all know that artificial intelligence and all these topics are not that female oriented, and that's a shame. Anyway, in terms of creativity being replaced by artificial intelligence, I think we are winning this one. So, example number two. Marcus Brownlee wanted to challenge his graphic designer team by competing with artificial intelligence with Dali. And what he did was to provide the same text prompts to both of them, to Dali and to Tim. And they would have, well, the time that they would need it, so Tim would need a couple of days or so, and Dali only 10 seconds. But this way, they would be able to do a blunt eye test with the rest of the team to see which one of the images would be winning. And surprisingly, Tim won. I mean, not the artificial intelligence, but the human won. I mean, of course, he's very talented, and if it was me competing with Dali, I would lose because I don't have any Photoshop skills. But I think it's impressive, you know? And somehow I can feel the pressure of Tim in the video because he's somehow representing the human race against the machine and he won, which is amazing, or at least this is how they made it look. I don't know, I will just be hopeful that this is how it went. But you know, I also feel bad for the AI because it kind of reminds me, I'm empathizing with artificial intelligence right now, but let me, let me go with this. So I'm somehow remembering about my first internships and you know, when these seniors would ask me to do something, but they won't provide me the right tools for that. And I would be like, but I'm here to learn. You know, in Spain, they don't really pay you for internships. So for me, it was like, I'm here to learn. I work for free, but I learn, you know? So this is a bit like the AI, you know? It's not being paid, it's just learning and that's good, you know? But if they don't give it, or me, the perfect tool, like the right tool, then it's super difficult to learn. I don't know where I'm going, we just should go back. And you know, it's exactly like this. If your boss, if your client are not providing you the right tools, the right description, then it's not likely that you are able to actually produce something. I mean, we are creative if we have information. If not, we can just, I mean, yeah, you can call it creativity, but at the end, I just think it's going to be a mess. And yes, we have all been trained with thousands of millions of images during our existence on Earth, same as DALI or any other artificial intelligence, but if we don't get the right instructions, then we can produce nothing. In the end, we function like machines. We eat and sleep so we can recharge our batteries, and then we have energy so we can produce tasks, tasks that we learn how to do because someone showed us in the past, or we just learn by repetition. At some point, we might malfunction, and we might break, or maybe we just become obsolete and we are just replaced by the newest model. We just then sit and wait until you know, we are turned off or we decide to turn off. Anyway, that's a really sad reflection. <laughs> Let's get to something more positive, like why I think that artificial intelligence is going to be a great tool for us as creatives. And I'm going to show you with this next example, so example number three. Imagine that you are getting started in design and you got this client and the client is not providing very much details and you are new, so you don't even know what you have to ask. You, you know that you need to know something about the personality of the brand and the competitors, but you are new, so you don't even know what you're doing, the client doesn't even know what he's doing or she is doing, you know, and yeah, it's all a mess. 
And usually what you would do is you would try to take the small information that you have and just try to produce some sketches or, you know, send them to the client and be like, yeah, this is the right approach, this is not, and maybe this way. You can actually start conversation with the client so you could actually get more information. And, you know, this takes a lot of work. If you're beginning, like you're a junior, then it's going to take even more work. So why cannot we use DALI as a tool to actually speed up this process? So... We know, for example, that the client is an um, interior design studio and they want a minimalistic design for the logo. So why cannot we just use DALI and run this as a text prompt and see what happens? So I actually did this with DALI Mini because I don't have access to DALI 2 yet. So, well, actually, it's not called DALI Mini anymore, it's called it Crayon, but whatever. Well, as you can see, these are the results. I specified that I want it to be sketched as a pencil because this is more like when you're sketching on paper. Because, well, even, you know, we are all using Figma and this stuff nowadays, I think that the sketching with the paper first is just a way to be more creative. And, well, maybe the Invertivator <laughs> Intelligence also got more creative by sketching on a paper. I don't know. Anyway, uh, imagine you have this and you send it to the client. And the client is like, Yeah, good, I like it, but... Can you make it pop? And, well... I don't know about you, but I don't know what making it pop means, but I'm going to ask Dali. So, this is another text prompt. And now, Dali made it pop. So, <laughs> that should do, you know, we send this to the client again, and finally the client realized that, yeah, this is a good direction, but we should actually start thinking about some color palettes. We are like, okay, we are just going to be doing the same. We want this minimalistic logo for this interior design studio, and yeah, we want some neutral color palettes, and this is what Dali creates for us. And I think this is just amazing. I mean, this is not final, then you would need to open Figma, Illustrator, whatever you like using, and just take a screenshot and place it there, and try to trace the logos, and then, I don't know, fix some things, fix some curves, and add more colors or whatever, make sure that everything is accessible, and all these things. To be honest, if your client didn't even know what he or she wanted, then, you know, you could be like, here you have it, sir. This is my work. It took me as much time as it took you to provide me the description and the feedback. Thank you. And that's it. That's my importation to this world. I hope you like it. Anyway, how do I feel about this? Well, I think as a first way to start a creative process when you are not feeling very creative, then I think it can actually help you so much. Because if you think about it, then the artificial intelligence is actually trained with millions of images, millions of concepts. So if you're asking a minimalistic design for an interior design studio, there's like this database of hundreds of thousands of possibilities and the AI actually provides you this solution, which might be valid or not, but I don't know. I just think that this could be the same, it could, it could actually have the same validity as my own proposal or your own proposal or many other proposals, you know, like it's only a proposal. Proposals that the machine created, but it's a machine that has even more information than us. And yeah, then we could get back to, but Martina, this is what is going to be replacing us, but not really. I mean, this is the same as when you are starting a new project and you would know it, for example, it's going to be about Mars, it's going to be about um, social media, and you are like searching on Google Mars, you know, and you get all these images, then it's just the same. Just the same, when you're making a mood board and you do the same, you do the research, then why can you not do this research by using DALI? I mean, I'm doing it from now on. Like all my projects are going to be doing, I'm going to start with this. And I'm thinking that this could be a nice experiment. So I might be doing this in the next video. So for next week, I'm going to show you what's going on with this. If it's bad, like I will post it anyway. It just can be a fail, but I think it's going to be a cool one. Okay, trust me. And to conclude, yeah, artificial intelligence will be replacing many, many jobs, but when it comes to creativity, I think we are fine. I think we're just going to be using artificial intelligence as a tool to actually enhance our creative process and, you know, somehow make us free of some parts of the process that are way too repetitive. For example, um, that, this is something that I didn't tell you before, but it's not like DALI is only used to create these images from the text prompt. It can actually do way more. So. It can be used to Photoshop your images. So for example, instead of just using Photoshop and wasting a lot of, I mean, not wasting if you like it, but in my case, I'm bad with Photoshop. So instead of spending a lot of hours trying to edit something in Photoshop, you could actually just ask Dali, the, like the big one, the big version of the mini. The mini is only doing the nine images, but Dali too actually has this option of retouching images. 
and it can also provide variations of, uh, of an image. So, you know, if you have something and you just want to have a variation of that, then you put it on Dali 2 and then magic happens. I think that is amazing because in my case, I did study graphic design, but I'm not passionate about Photoshop. I'm not passionate about illustration. I'm not passionate about any of that, but I'm passionate about the creative direction of the projects. So, you know, someone who is not good at sketching like I'm not, just having the possibility of being able to think about the concept and have the right words and just put it on this artificial intelligence, click run, and then magic happen. This is amazing. I mean, only for sketch at least, this is just amazing for me. So in my case, I want this to be something that I can use in my daily life. Yeah. Anyway, what do you think? I mean, do you think that you would be using DALI? Do you think that it's going to be replacing you? Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon in another video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.